we've got another great video for you today from how to have fun outdoors not one video four videos we're at the 53rd annual coachman rally in goshen indiana and boy was this a lot of fun we're going to start with a simple short video to get to know nick he's the general manager of the class b camper van segment and manufacturing and uh, boy has he done a fabulous job with his team in producing these units the second video is actually going to have nick walk through the nova versus the beyond versus the galleria with the Lice and tell us the difference between the units give us an update on how things are going right now june 2021 with production and that's a much must watch video in addition don't worry if you missed the coachman 53rd rally we went on both the excursions we hung out and had a lot of fun with all the different activities we're going to share some of that with you in the third video and you're going to love it you're going to get to meet a lot of coachman employees even former coachman and employees and uh, you're going to see some of the other campers that were there and uh, definitely some of the highlights from the excursions and the fun so uh, definitely watch that third video you're gonna love it and then finally on the fourth video that's right we're gonna do an interview with Dean and specifically all the class B RV camper van people that were at the event you're gonna love it so with that we're gonna turn it over to Alice and she's gonna go with the interview with Nick now again this is all about his background and a little bit about him so many times you have these interviews and it's all about the product but let's try to get to know Nick all right here we are with Alice and Nick and take it away Alice all right, here is the famous Nick from Coachman Beyond. Thank you guys Everybody for coming. Everybody talk yes. about you, so yep. I'm really happy to be here with well, you today. Well, we do it for our customers, but uh, it, it's a lot of fun engaging in that way, video. Uh, yep. It's very useful, it's very popular, and we can reach a lot of people that some of the other guys that aren't spending time on YouTube aren't reaching and informing, so pretty neat. Thank yep. you guys for all coming. Well, and it helps people also understand the product yep. offering, right? So yep. a lot of people looking for Class Bs right now very hot in the segment yeah. uh, of Built. RVs. Most are young people and they use YouTube a lot. <laughs> well, well, that's funny yeah. you mentioned that. We used to be really strong 55, 60, 65 and above and we're starting to see a good influx now um, of uh, a younger clientele and that's, that's something that uh, we've been eager to have. <laughs> Um, I'm not saying anything about our previous clientele demographic. We just want to spread the love in Class Bs and offer our um, offer our slant on how a Class B company should be ran, both customer service and product wise. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, let's hear Nick about Nick a little bit. Every yeah. time Nick's in a in a video, it's always about the product. We're going to cover that. Today's video is awesome. We got all three offerings from Coachman on the Class B, and we're going to go through them real quickly. So it's not going to be a long video. So you're going to enjoy that, but let's hear a little bit about Nick. So, yeah. Yeah. so Nick, I am Italian, as you know. Yes, ma'am. But I heard that you are Italian, too. Yep, so. Recchio. Uh, we came over. We were called Ruggiero's. Wow. And they, they thought that was too difficult, so they now gave us a name that nobody can ever ever spell or pronounce so uh <laughs> recchio it's always one uh, one c uh, anyway so half german half italian yep. <laughs> um uh, calabrese a little bit yeah and um you know um coming always been in indiana always lived in elkhart indiana ventured out a couple times but you know my grand my grandfather uh recchio great grandfather um recchio grandpa falcone um, they all came here to two things work on the railroads and then once um, the political climate changed um, and the war started happening Iwo Jima World War they said okay we just we just took a boat okay. to Italy or from Italy to the US Wow send us back we want to go back and wow. uh, so very patriot patriotic group they love the United States um, and uh, you know railroad workers very loyal um, to the country and um, taught me and my sister a lot of a lot of good things a lot of good things how to live how to be how to treat right. people and um really neat and uh, just grew up in elkhart most of my life i ventured out into chicago a little bit realized i'm not a city boy uh lived out in denver colorado where well, we can touch on this a little bit learned a lot about the rv industry on a, a different oh, yeah. side that i don't think a lot of people had the experience and when i moved to denver i had the opportunity to work for a dealership and a lot of us in Elkhart don't get an opportunity to work for a dealership. And what my job was, and this is kind of near and dear to my heart, is to do all the deliveries 
uh, for this dealership. The dealership was Kettleson Campers of Colorado. Wow. Uh, it's been recently sold to Camping World. Top 50 dealer every year as far as customer service, how they treat their customers. Randy Kettleson taught me a lot that just because that business chooses to do something that way, that business chooses to do something that way, we can make our our oh. own standards and um, taught me a lot about how to treat customers and always doing the right thing and going above and beyond and that's something that we're all about and um, you know my first job uh, was uh, mowing all the old Italian folks yard I get hook up a lawn boy or a, a snapper to my bicycle drive across town and charge them 20 bucks for a little old Sears home you know <laughs> but it was all Italian folks and I did that for a while and then um, awesome. yep, went to college Awesome. And I uh, realized I was just spinning my wheels there, and then I had a lot more to give outside of college, and just you know quit school and decided to uh, um, pursue RVs. Um, well, I can tell you one uh, thing: everyone we've talked to, uh, to that's been involved with Class B talks about how awesome Nick is, and how you care about the customers, how you care about your products, and you're always trying to improve the product, right? So yes. year after year. You're making a big impact on these Class Bs, and it's showing up in the quality and the performance. And yep. you guys have done an amazing job. So, but we also found out talking to Nick here at the 53rd uh, Coachman Rally, uh, he's got some similar hobbies to Alice. They're both Italian, and yep. uh, so Alice. We, we both love espresso. <laughs> yeah, you love espresso for sure, yeah. but uh, also no, fishing. We so. <laughs> back at home uh that's what i do to to unwind um the fish don't talk back i tell my wife that so yeah. uh, <laughs> tell us about your wife and family oh, a little um, bit yeah wife's half cherokee half hungarian wow um, oh, yeah. chicken papakash yeah. there <laughs> really really wonderful woman um we've dated off and on i'm 48 now uh since we were 25 or i was 25 and she was 19. wow uh, we just celebrated our 10-year anniversary uh about three weeks ago yeah. congratulations uh, got a little seven-year-old daughter that uh livia that absolutely goes crazy when daddy brings home a van wow um, why don't our couches at home slide like this why don't, <laughs> I, this is daddy i could live in you know it's just so cute yeah and uh, always want me to bring something home to play with and take a look at so wow. you know, just um you got her fishing now the little oh one? yeah little one fishes little all right fishes. good little good. one does about anything she wants to put her mind to and uh pretty cool pretty cool very blessed. gotta have her watch some of those how to have fun outdoor yep. fishing videos yep. and she can watch a leche so she knows girl power yep. yeah. she's a big fan of youtube and one of yeah. the one of the things that we do is uh like little scientific videos and recreate it but uh okay we just got back from spring break and i showed her her first entry into greece Okay. Uh, you know, I think I am the way I am because I was raised in the 70s and 80s. Uh, wow. I think I learned, uh, you know, yeah, absolutely. much different time then. Music, everything, culture, yeah. you know, everybody loved each other back then. And nobody yeah. Yeah. had the yeah. problems that they're having today. And we're talking 30-some years ago. Something's going on. So I showed her a video of Greece, And John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John, who yeah. I named my daughter after, she... Okay, can we watch another Grease video? Don't, don't tell mom. Don't tell mom. Like, you oh, love Grease, too, oh, yeah. I, I probably watched, like, yep. 50 times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 50 so, times. Yep. She gets a little older. Both in Italian and in English. Yep. So yep. I don't yep. need to go. Yep. And when she gets a little older, we'll let her watch the movie. But the move, the music clips right now are what we're watching. And, um, okay. you know, we, we just moved out to the country a little bit. Um She's not a big tablet kid, not a big That's TV awesome. kid. Um, yeah. She'd rather find bugs. Play it and on find and oh, she's in the science. We'll definitely give her a lab rat today from uh, there you, go. you know yeah. labratgifts.com. Oh, yeah. It's another company we own, yep. and it's all science themed gifts. So yep. she, that'll be great. We'll hook her up with that. Well, and... I, I would love to meet her for oh, sure. Yeah. I'm sure someday. Uh, I'm going to try to get her out this week. Okay. Try to get the wife and kid out this yeah. week. Next yeah. time, Nick. So next time, so next rail, you got to promise us we'll do a fishing video together. We, so we'll go out on the boat, and we, you and Alice can go at it. We can do that. There's some good spots around here. Competition. We we really want to know, how did you get to Coachman? Great, great question. Um, after my little escapade in lawn mowing when I was really young, my dad worked at a uh, uh, RV place as a service manager, an R or pardon me, a sales manager, a local manufacturer, and I wanted to make RV money. And so I was 14, rode my bike for the first day. The plant floor was about 105 degrees. 
and I got there about 5.30 in the morning and I was looking for my tool belt. I wanna be one of the guys out there. Well, I had a mat knife, a little carpet knife, and a sweatshirt. Again, it was 105 degrees on the plant floor. Yeah. I look around, my dad wasn't there obviously because he was in sales. And I go, you know, what's this mat knife and what's this sweatshirt for? Well, you're our new insulator. Fiberglass, fiberglass insulation. There you go. So my first day, my mom. Yes. Yep. Right, <laughs> hey, hey, whatever. I got a job. My mom and dad are divorced, and I come home after a full day of insulating, 105 degree. I got fibers everywhere, and the guys on the line go, you know, I know you're really scratchy, but if you go home and we'll take a hot shower, that'll all go away. Wow. Go home, take a hot shower. I come out, and I'm bright as a plum, red wow. as an apple. Hives everywhere. My mom picks up the phone, calls my dad. You, blah, 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 blah. You're going to kill this kid. So, got in there. Um, always knew I, I had interest in the RVs. I worked for a company, uh, a Thor company for a while. Yeah. And I had a lot of good family over here. Yeah. Some stepbrothers and stepsisters that um, worked for Forest River. And I got a call one day. Said, hey, why don't you come over to the Chaparral Division? Well, Coachman had just been purchased um, by Forest River. Uh, the gentleman that purchased Coachman, his name's Pete Legal, before he sold Forest River to Berkshire Hathaway and Warren Buffett, when he left Coachman years and years and years ago, he said, I'm going to come back. You might be telling me to leave, but I'm going to come back and buy this place someday. Everybody laughed. Fast forward to 2007, 8, when I started at Coachman. Uh, no, pardon me, 2006, I think, was the purchase. Seven, I started at the Chaparral Division. And what... You know, Coachman maybe was dipping down a little bit, but when that transaction happened and leadership um, got changed a little bit, uh, Mike Turlop has always been the president of this company, but it, it just a change of culture. And what I've seen out of this company, Coachman and Forest River, dedicated to customer service, I'm very proud to work here. You know, we're very fortunate to be back here doing what we're doing and, and um, to see the level of, of investment into customer service resources yeah. it's it's really cool it's really cool it's needed i'm proud to work here um what the gms um that i work with now at coachman are accomplishing um that have taken helped take coachman back to where they were a long long time ago and that was um you know back in the and coachman's been around since the 54 i believe i might get in trouble for not getting that right 54 56 but yep. you know a lot of people have gone You've been here a long us. time yeah. a lot of people know coachman yeah, for Middlebury, sure indiana yeah um, we get an opportunity to pull from a really good workforce um you got to travel around town we got a lot of amish folks around here uh, just got a lot of good people that still got a lot of great work ethic and want to create something special for everybody the world. all right so let's go ahead and let's dive into this for everyone back at home so now you know nick and his yeah. background uh, a lot of times people you know they they do these interviews and look at the product but they don't know the people behind it and i yeah. think what's great about nick is he's a real person down the earth uh, talks to all his customers, works with his customers. And that, honestly, when we were looking at videos for the yeah. Class Bs, that was one of the things we were impressed the most about. And we said, you know, customer service is key. So, Leachie and I'd like to thank Nick for the interview. This was just the first part of the interview. The second part of the interview, Nick actually does a deep dive in all three of the Class B offerings from Coachman. He'll go through the Nova versus the Galleria, versus the Beyond, the Ford chassis, versus the Ram chassis, versus the Mercedes chassis, all the features and benefits, and also an update on how production is going currently mid-year 2021. As everyone is aware, there's a lot of issues around getting chassis and raw materials. Um, overall, Nick uh, does a great job on this second video also. It's a must watch if you're interested in buying a Class B. He goes through all the details of why the Coachman Class Bs are of such great quality and uh, all of the features and benefits. So with that, please subscribe, hit the like button, and definitely make your comments down below. We hope you enjoyed this video, and we hope you know Nick a little bit better than you did before. And uh, he's really a wonderful person, and we can honestly say that uh, everyone within the Class B group uh, that knows Nick or has worked with Nick knows that he's genuine, down to earth, a real person that really cares about his customers and the quality of the product. He talks highly about his team and uh, gives them most of the credit 
and uh, it's just a real class act and uh, we hope you enjoyed this video mm -hmm.